In hard tissue application, the laser is used for caries prevention, bleaching, restorative removal and curing, cavity preparation, dentinal hypersensitivity, growth modulation and for diagnostic purposes. Whereas soft tissue application includes wound healing, removal of hyperplastic tissue to uncovering of impacted or partially erupted tooth, photodynamic therapy for malignancies, photostimulation of herpetic lesion. Use of the laser proved to be an effective tool to increase efficiency, specificity, ease, and cost and comfort of the dental treatment. There are two scenarios, on the one hand there are hard lasers, such as, carbon dioxide, neodymium yttrium aluminum garnet, and ur yag which offer both hard tissue and soft tissue applications, but have limitations due to high costs and a potential for thermal injury to tooth pulp, whereas, on the other hand in cold or soft lasers, based on the semiconductor diode devices, which are compact, low-cost devices used predominantly for applications, are broadly termed as low-level laser therapy or biostimulation. Carbon dioxide laser the CO2 laser wavelength has a very high affinity for water, resulting in rapid soft tissue removal and hemostasis with a very shallow depth of penetration. Although it possesses the highest 11 absorbance of any laser, disadvantages of the CO2 laser are its relative large size and high cost and hard tissue destructive interactions. Neodymium Yttrium Aluminum Garnet Laser the ND, YAG wavelength is highly absorbed by the pigmented tissue, making it a very effective surgical laser for cutting and coagulating dental soft tissues, with good hemostasis. In addition to its surgical applications, 12. There has been research on using the ND, YAG laser for non-surgical sulcular debridement in periodontal disease control, 13. And the laser-assisted new attachment procedure. Erbium laser. The erbium family of lasers has two distinct wavelengths, ER, crossing, YSGG, yttrium scandium gallium garnet, lasers and ER, YAG, yttrium aluminum garnet, lasers. The erbium wavelengths have a high affinity for hydroxyapatite and the highest absorption of water in any dental laser wavelengths. Consequently, it is the laser of choice for treatment of dental hard tissues. 15. In addition to hard tissue procedures, erbium lasers can also be used for soft tissue ablation, because the dental soft tissue also contains a high percentage of water. Diode Laser The active medium of the diode laser is a solid-state semiconductor made of aluminum, gallium, arsenide, and occasionally indium, which produces laser wavelengths, ranging from approximately 810 nanometers to 980 nanometers. All diode wavelengths are absorbed primarily by tissue pigment, melanin, and hemoglobin. Conversely, they are poorly absorbed by the hydroxyapatite and water present in the enamel. Specific procedures include aesthetic gingival re-contouring, soft tissue crown lengthening, exposure of soft tissue impacted teeth, removal of inflamed and hypertrophic tissue, phrenectomies, and photostimulation of the aphthous and herpetic lesions. Thanks for watching.